have different types of porous pavement. There's Bexy Pave, there's uh, asphalt, there's uh, porous pavers, and there's porous concrete. And that's how it works. There's Flexi Pave. This one here is made out of recycled tires and other material. It has the same effect, but this one you can have it in many different colors. You can shovel on porous pavement and it controls black ice. A green roof is basically a, a roof that has a bunch of sedum on it and it absorbs storm water. Sedum is small plants that is tolerant to dry and wet weather, so it's used for a green roof. The benefits of a green roof is that it keeps you nice and hot in the winter and um, it keeps you cool in the summertime and it absorbs storm water runoff. Rain Garden is a, a special shaped garden that is designed to capture stormwater runoff. You can have a small yard, you just have to make sure it's at a slope, kind of, so it can, it can actually you can get the flow right. Um, it's actually not too difficult to build a rain garden, you can build it yourself. The size of your rain garden depends on the size of your roof. So check the size of your roof, check the soil, see if it's compacted or not. Bring butterflies, bees, deers if you have the right plants. When it rains, it goes into the gutter and eventually makes its way into the diverter right here and into the rain barrel. And you can use the water to uh, water your garden or uh, wash your car. Well, if you're a city resident, you get it for free. Uh, you just go to one of our workshops and uh, you just sit there and listen to us talk about rain barrels and you'll get a free one. They naturally, they absorb carbon dioxide, they reduce pollution, and they help filter the water and grow. And when they grow from the filtered water, they provide oxygen for humans, they give birds and squirrels a part of our ecosystem, a place to live healthy and provide food. A good area to plant a tree, honestly, is a place where shade is needed, maybe a good sunspot, not too close to the curb and not too close to the sidewalk what kind of trees that should be planted in Syracuse should be oak trees and maybe maple trees because maple trees grow big and oak trees got strong wood. If you wanted to plant a tree in the city, professionally you should call the city arborist because they got a lot of information and they have all the proper tools to keep you a nice healthy tree. We're the Onondaga Earth Corps and we want you to save the rain. For more information, please visit www.savetherain.us.